Close the appetite to any of your questions that you have about HMS Alliance. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to hold fire here two seconds. I'm going to walk up there, check with the guy to make sure that we're okay to let you in. Obviously we'll be fine, but um, just to make sure there's no one in there and then we'll send you out. Take two seconds. Okay. Thank you. Bueno, estamos aquí en el submarino, vamos a entrar al HMS Aliens. En la escotilla. Que se, se sellaba todo, ¿no? Esta es la parte de máquina, la parte trasera. Parte de torpeo. Sala de torpedo. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen. Pile in, line the compartment. Luca, waiting for the. Come on in, please, and line the compartment. Don't be afraid to do that. Wait. You, you want to stop about it because we want to get these people to carry on down the passenger. It's very crowded down there. Come on in. Yeah. Gentlemen, mind your heads, okay? We don't want you to bump your head. There's a high potential for you to damage the submarine. Naturally, nobody wants that, do they? <laughs> yeah. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen. Pile in. Gives you a little flavour of what it's like to be in a submarine. To your spread, yeah. And the bread goes green, you cut the green off, eat what's left. <laughs> you the last one, sir? Okay. Right, do pile in, everybody. I'm going to speak to you to give this um, other group, the, your, the preceding group, time to get down the passageways and so on. It's very crowded. This, this passageway generates claustrophobia. People get down there, it, and it's the number of people usually, and then they come back and I can't do it. No. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is just talk to you a little bit about the history of the submarine. It's minuscule, it really is, and then a little bit about where we are in the submarine. Um, firstly, though, welcome to the Submarine Museum, and welcome to HMS Alliance. As you can see, Alliance is a really old submarine, so now you're going to do a bit of time travelling. You're travelling through the 1940s, 50s, 60s and 70s. Yeah. And you've got to get a glimpse of a navy that doesn't exist anymore. It's a navy that I joined, yeah. but it's been consigned to recent history. Um, did I say welcome to the submarine museum? I don't get it. Yeah, you did, yeah. Did I? Do you know, old age is a terrible thing. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. It's been a long day. That's all I can say. I know. Too many people. I'm the only one here. Yeah. I'm the only guide here, so. Okay. Um, Alliance, as I already said, was, or is, an old submarine. She was built between 1945 and 1947. Accepted into service in 1947. 
uh, and finally withdrawn from service in 1973. Where we are now in the sub-room, from this bulkhead door down here, through this compartment and through those two watertight doors, all this area is known as the submarine's four ends. Through the two watertight doors, it's a forward torpedo tube space. Four torpedo tubes, and if you're able to look through the left-hand door, if the little submariners want to go up and have a, have a look, it's up to you. <coughs> so look through the left-hand door, you'll see number two tube is open, and it's loaded. And it's loaded with one of these. In the submarine when on patrol, all four tubes would have been loaded. It wouldn't go with an empty space. Where we're standing, this compartment is known as the forward torpedo stowage compartment. In here, six reload torpedoes. The way they were stowed is one, where you see it now. And then down below, about this far off the deck, were two more side by side. Ignore the canoe, it wouldn't have been there. And then you've got another three on this side. Now, it doesn't much look like it, that's because some of these cabinets, pieces of equipment, were moved around when the submarine was made. But we've got six reload torpedoes in here. If you look around, you can see lots of food in here. This is an improvisation for stowing bread. Uh, you can see lots of boxes of tins of food and tins of food and sacks which are intended to illustrate sacks of um, uh, uh, vegetables like potatoes, onions, cabbages, things that have got some sort of life. When the submarine went on patrol, every nook and cranny right the way through the boat um, was jammed solid with food. There's enough food for 65 men for two months. That would be your longest patrol, two months. Sometimes it was more than 65 men to carry passengers. It would be men under training, officers under training, maybe a small number of Marines <coughs> or special forces. That's why the canoe is there to illustrate that the submarine would carry up. The submarine didn't carry the canoes. People lived in this compartment. There were a number of functions, but it was accommodation for some people. A small number of the submarine's crew would live in here. Passengers were accommodated in here. Or the majority of them. Maybe not all of them, but the majority. Sleeping options, this is one of them. What do you call that? It's a question for you. <coughs> no, don't know. Thank you, it's right. Yeah. Well done, well answered. Um, yeah, this is one option, a hammock. Two, three, four people would sling a hammock in here. Another option is camp beds. This could be um, uh, turned into a camp bed. You can put a set of legs into the camp as part of the hammock. Tricky in here because quite often between the lower torpedoes, you pile boxes of food, maybe up to about here. So people are walking around hunched over uh, until the food is used. And even down the passageway, that would be uh, boxes would be piled down the passageway. Third sleeping option sleep on the torpedoes. Very common to do that. And it still is on. Um, on nuclear submarines. When a young chap came through here recently and he was saying, he was a nuclear submarine, he said, I lay on my bum, raise my head six to eight inches, I hit it on a torpedo. Space is still at a premium. Has anybody got any questions? I've got one. <coughs> what was your 10 2, wasn't it? Your, your time slot? Okay. Accommodation area, you'll see living spaces and things are not always compatible. So you have to get on with people. You didn't have to like them, but you had to get on with them. 
Remember, it's fun being a submarine. I know. People volunteer to do this. Other people didn't. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Like Kodia, the La Sala del Pep, como es el el oficial, hay comida por todos lados, porque claro, tenían que sobrevivir acá, en el tiempo de guerra, ¿no? Ahí está, se ve las aguas babas, ¿no? y todo el Kodia. Ahí la que sonaba el con. Yeah. Oh, se para su café. Esta es la parte donde se da la acomodación, ¿no? Aquí la litera. Y aquí recrean cómo jugaba la gente, ¿no? A los dados. Las acomodaciones, hay que dormir, ¿no? Camarote, chiquitito. ¿Eh? Se puede ver todos los camarotes de la tripulación. Totalmente está ahí. La foto seguramente de la novia de la, de la mujer. Bueno, tenían una, una frase que era más o menos abrigada un poco. Aquí está lo que es el co comedor. Bueno, aquí tenían su, el típico English breakfast. Tomate, bacon. Las tostadas, ¿no? Uh, uh, si sí, vivían en la segunda, ahí las baterías, estas son las baterías, ¿no? Este, en ese tiempo todavía no existían los nucleares, ¿no? Entonces eran diésel. Aquí ya estamos con unos camarotes que eran más elaborados para los oficiales, ¿no? Ahí tenían donde leer las noticias, ¿no? Fumaban su cigarrito. Bueno, aquí también hay, hay, hay como un locket para, para guardar cosas. Bueno, aquí también tenía una garrafa de vino. Mira, este lo quiero saber. Ahí tenían todo. ¿no? Bueno, aquí es Capetí. Aquí es, esto ya es una sala de oficiales de más alto rango. Ahí la, la foto de la reina. Y acá estamos en la sala de... La sala de periscopio. You can see, yeah? Really? Wow. Oh. Sala de control. Half. Storm. El periscopio, ¿no? Ok. Sí, tenés, Luis. Yeah. She's 
Bueno, no sé si se podrá ver, pero vamos a intentar leer. Ahí están viendo desde el HMS Allens. Periscopio. Anselvi. Ahí. Ahí. La sala de radares. Luis. Sofía. Sit in there. Let's take a picture. Sit in there. Yeah, Look at me. Luis. Turn around. Esta es la sala de contacto. Switch. No. Spin the mode on. No. Increíble que todo esté operativo. O sea, operativo en el sentido de que todo está como era. No. Esto es la, los metros, ¿no? Que está hundido, ¿no? Ahí se podía ver. Aquí es donde se da vuelta el, el periscopio, ¿no? Y ahí se ponía el pie. Donde tenía otra escotilla, ¿no? Y seguramente cuando había un incendio o algo. Luis, Luis, look it. Luis, bueno, aquí estamos viendo otra sala de Luis. Aquí es como también una sala de, de mandos. ¿no? También todo lo que tenía el submarino. ¿no? Acá también como un refrigerador parece que. Ah no, la sala de comando, de telégrafo. Ahí están todas las comunicaciones. ¿no? El telégrafo, etcétera, etcétera. Las máquinas encriptadas, mecánica, ¿no? Aquí hay algunos cucharoncitos. Esto viene la, los, los, los baños, ¿no? Ah, esto viene la ducha y el baño. Acá otras salas que estos son voltímetros. Acá otro baño. Un submarino. Ahí todos los, los que se dio de baja. Bueno, tenía bastante. ¿no? Aquí otro baño. Aquí ya corre más aire. 
Aquí también un poco una, un baño más grande. Aquí la cocina. Aquí pasamos la compuerta. Y estamos en la máquina de. en la sala de máquina. Donde están los motores. Impresionante. Wey Luis. Ahí. Es esa foto de oil. La, la válvulas de spray. La de aire. De engine clutch. Son el sistema de. De cuánto se llama de embriague, el clutch, el fuel pump, aquí es donde ponía la, la aceite, ¿no? Stay in there. Luca? Luca? Tenor? Luca? Engine? Luca! Tremendo motor diesel. Aquí una llave, mira, una llave. Esta es una llave que movía un engranaje, un tornillo. Un regulador. Todavía funciona. ¿eh? Un regulador. MM Field Regulator. Ahí también se puede ver lo mismo que está en la otra sala, capitán. Aquí también estaban estas palancas, ¿no? Que son las palancas que eran para en emergencia, ¿no? Turn the knob. ¿No? Aquí la sala de torpeo. Aquí un, donde tenían las cosas los marineros. Ahí el, el chalequito. Ahí está el torpeo primero operativo. Ahí, ja, bien tienen la cerveza ahí. Este es el, el tubo de torpeo. Torpedo 1, torpedo 2, más que nada. El 6, los tubos. No. Ah, 
Aquí ya estamos. Lo he visto. En la parte final del tour. Y ahí está la... La hélice. Come back. Stay here. Stop One set. Look at the camera, Luke. Do it too. Okay. Guys, holding. Don't stop. 